This is Space Within. Uh, another coming soon, so we don't have a date or anything like that. Uh, but it looks fascinating, uh, design-wise, uh, art style-wise. So I wanted to play it and see what it's like. So let's do that. The following experience is not a fully-fledged demo, nor a vertical slice. However, it contains some selected features in alpha state to give an impression of the look and feel of the final game. Multiple features like light-sensitive enemies and mental powers are not yet available in this build. Mental powers, you say? Okay. Intro. You wake up in what looks like a hospital room. You are tied to a bed, and bandages are wrapped around your wrist. Fear overwhelms you, and you pass out again. You open your eyes next to a glowing tree and meet your spirit animal. The cat tells you that you are in a mental hospital because of an evil entity called the Sickness, and in order to defeat it, you must remember your past and overcome your demons. Together, you start a journey deep into your mind. Crash. Well, balls. That's not a good start. I have a suspicion I know what's going on. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. This is one of the one of the many games that... Um, so when you develop in either Unity or Unreal, for whatever reason, both of them have VR support enabled by default. And that forces VR to launch with the game. And if they haven't developed the game to support VR... That tends to cause problems. So, my only solution... Gila, you need to chill, sir. My only solution is to unplug my VR before starting up the game. That was that noise. So that when it launches VR, it doesn't detect VR and doesn't attempt to do anything with VR. Here's hoping that that works this time. That's what I had to do for Turing test, actually. suddenly got a lot louder. Um, and I had no control over that as well. So, hang on. Let's uh, tone down the game input, tone down my headphones. Alright, I think we're good. Play. Cat. The cat paw in your HUD indicates your companion's healing something or another. This looks like something. Jack, look! There's an empty pedestal. He knows you're coming. He's closed the gate. A pedestal? Correct. They open the gates to different parts of your mind. However, you need orbs to activate them. Let me say so, Kitty. He must have hidden this pedestal's orb somewhere around here. Somewhere you don't want to look. Then what should I look for? A manifestation of a sharp and painful thought. Sharp enough to stop you from touching it. Like a needle. We'll know when we see it. So this is a trippy shooter set in your mind, I guess. I'm turning down the game and putting it in. Because it's real. Oh, I have a gun. Because it's real loud. And I'm turning down my head. Um, this is another game that needs some serious uh, audio level balance work. I have no idea, but this is a very common trend among many, many, many games where there does not seem to be proper audio balance. So I'm not going to fault them for it, but it's really annoying, especially when there's no audio sliders. Okay, so I need something to go on there, and I'm looking for a pointy thing, apparently. Here, this looks kind of like a pointy thing. That's the needle. Right. Press E when you're close to interact objects. Needles are very costly to interact with, so make sure your health is nearly full. Uh, 
Oh, your companion can heal you. Just ask. Hey, kitty, help. Thanks, kitty. I still have several questions. I don't think any of them are going to be answered in this short demo. mountain, or is there something I didn't see? Oh. This is absolutely fascinating looking. Yeah, the colors, the visual style. It's got, um, it's got the scan lines of, like, an old tube TV kind of embedded into it for visuals. We'll just beep. Oh, you just beep. Hi. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Can I shoot you? Is that what's happening? Do I shoot you? I'm gonna shoot you. Right in the eye. Right in the stupid eye. Oi. Don't teleport. Don't teleport. Alright. Kitty help. Thanks. So we've got another pillar. This is just gorgeous and surreal and kind of ominous. All right, so we're, they didn't tell me anything else about what I'm, what I'm looking for for this orb. So I'm assuming we're looking for more needles. And I'm gonna assume Might actually be the wrong way. Might be the wrong way, because that I think is the portal I'm trying to open. So let's go back this way. Good news is we don't have we don't seem to have any stamina to worry about, so I can just run. to left unturned. Let go, Jackie, or I'll help you let go. What if you didn't, though? Well, I'm on the right path if the evil villain is telling me not to touch things. Oh. Touching the pointy thing because the evil villain doesn't want me to. Ow. Shiny. Alright, kitty, help. Thanks. So, in the upper left, kitty's got a little bit of a timer for how often it can help me. Uh, you can kind of see it filling in right now. So I think I just don't don't get hurt. That's the bottom line of it. Oh, 
my kitty. Kitty. Ah. The mountain woke up. It is real loud. And shooty. setting for that? No, we don't have a setting for that. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me tone you down again. Jesus. Stop being so loud. Okay. I have Kitty Healing Health. And I think I need to wait for Kitty to recharge again so we have some healing health through the run. I've literally turned my volumes down to like a third of what they normally are. Okay, so I see that pattern. I don't like that pattern. So that was the space within. That looks like a trip. That looks like an absolute trip. It seems to be just a first person shooter adventure exploration kind of game, but a in very interesting visual twist. And uh, you've got a kitty companion to help you through. You got, you got a mind trip going on. I hope to God that they add some volume level stuff because my God, my poor ears. But I want to see more of this game, absolutely. So we're gonna we're gonna wish list this one as well, and uh, hope we have some sort of release date eventually. <laughs>